Hey guys, we got the C8 down here at Elite Audio Intent. Hi, I'm Jennifer. Hi, I'm Ken. And, and you're, you're watching the Corvette channel. Hey guys, we got the C8 down here at Elite Audio Intent. We are gonna go ahead and be putting some window protection on as well as some uh, window tinting on the car. And so we're gonna go ahead and go on in there and uh, check it out. And we're gonna see what we can do to get this, get my C8 all taken care of and see if I can get you guys a discount if you guys are looking to come and get your stuff done too. They've done all the work on my, C, on my C7 and my C4 and I've been sending customers down here for a long time and, and they do a good job. Yeah. Well, you would have had it done if you wouldn't weren't doing my car. <laughs> yep. No, you know the priorities, you know what I mean. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get the, we gotta get your car done first. That's it. So, guys, if, um, I I know that you guys won't uh, see this uh, until after the show, um, but uh, if he he tries to support. Uh, the Corvette community. He's he, he's going to come out to the uh, to the Red Hot Casino show for just for Corvettes tomorrow. The uh, uh, Corvettes for Vets show, um, and he will be out there uh, showing his Jeep, and we'll be able to show off my car. And he'll be handing out some. Uh, I think well, you're going to have some gift cards and some uh, some yeah. some discount stuff discount going on. Card, yeah. yeah. So yeah. So. Um, so, you know, I know you're not going to, like I said, me videoing it now, uh, you're not going to see that. But, uh, you know, the, our next shows, I'll let him know and hopefully we can get him to come out there and we'll go from there. But like I said, when it's all said and done, you come down here, you don't have to wait for those shows. You'll be able to, now that you see this video, you'll be able to get a discount on it. And, and like I said, it, it, this is something that's very imperative. Um, Especially if you have a 3LT car to put this, this uh, uh, the the tinting on the inside, the UV tinting. Uh, I had it on my C7, and it it my C7 was already starting to delaminate, and then when he put this on, it stopped it. I mean, it literally, it because it, you could see almost every time it went out that it was starting to pull. Once he put this on, it literally just stopped it. So. That, that's cool. So that's why I'm trying to start that on this one uh, right off the get-go. And then, uh, and yes, I know, um, I'm sure there are a few of you guys that are police officers that are out there. So don't please don't pull me over. Uh, we are going to put uh, 25 uh, tinting on the 25% um, tint on the side windows. Um, it used to be darker. My C7 was darker. And as I'm getting older, <laughs> as you guys keep hearing that, um, it's making it harder to see. So um, they, they have a compromise now. It's a little bit a little bit lighter, but still has a nice dark tint. So we're going to do that on the sides. And then, uh, then we'll go from there. So as you can tell, this stuff takes a while to do. You know? There's a lot of a lot of pre-shaping, and that's just on the outside. You guys wait until he's in the car. It's going to be, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not not wanting to laugh, but I think it is going to be kind of funny because it is. I've sat in that seat, and I know it's hard. Um, the passenger side, you can move the seat forward enough we've that you can a, reach we've, it. We've got enough C8s, so I think we got it down. Yeah, now. yeah, no, yeah. It might still look a little hard. <laughs> <laughs> but I can tell you guys, if you guys haven't done this, uh, you don't want to try to tackle this yourself. Um, I can tell you from the pass, the driver's side, virtually impossible to reach the windshield. I, I mean, you really gotta, you really gotta know how to do it. Hey, how to brace yourself and um, and just. Get it's yourself lot, in the right position. Of strength, you know? <laughs> oh, I, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Because you got to hold yourself up because the yeah. seat's not going to do it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, um, yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, so see, he's still young. These guys are still young. They can they can pull that off. Us old farts, it's another story. But, So later on, I'll show you the how they cut the the uh, side glass, the side uh, tent. They they do that. They have a they have a, uh, a template that's already in their computer, and their their laser will cut it. It'll, it'll be on a plotter, and it'll cut the the tent to exactly what it's supposed to be. Um, but even though that is the case, getting it to look good i've seen some really good tent jobs i've seen some really bad ones <laughs> so and these guys use quality 3m um product so that that says a lot too um and it, wouldn't it, it, it you were telling me before that a lot of times uh, you guys have probably seen this before you'll see tinting that has turned purple yeah yeah so 3M tint doesn't, doesn't fade, turn purple, or anything like that. Yeah, uh, it yeah. Covers, it's a night, uh, nationwide lifetime warranty on it. Like, it covers, um, basically, you know, it just doesn't cover physical damage. So if you broke this windshield... Right, yeah, covered. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you, now, you know what? I'll tell you this. Uh, when, when my windshield and my C7 got broken... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It... I took care of you on that. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, you did a great job, but... Yeah. When the glass guys took yeah. the glass out, yeah. right, this windshield shattered everywhere. Yeah. But you know what? That inner tinting that you put on like you're doing now, oh, yeah. it held all the glass. It held the whole windshield together. Oh, yeah, exactly. They didn't even lose one little piece of glass. It stuck to the glass. It was all flopping around, and they were able to throw it right in the garbage can. But they yeah. didn't have to do any cleanup because it was the hold, tent, it it, the tent yeah. was holding it together. That was yeah. cool. That's pretty cool. Yep. So that's probably a good safety thing, actually, if you think yeah. about it. Oh, yeah, definitely, yeah, because that way you don't have anything, even that in an accident, not just flying at you either. Exactly, either. yep. And this is the the highest grade of film that we carry, so it's, it's crystalline. Crystalline, yeah, okay. Yeah, so most people go with ceramic normally, uh -huh. which is a like one step below this. But this is this is crystalline, this is what we put on your C7 too, remember? Yep. So yeah, can, can no, it's 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 good stuff. Yeah, um, guys, you really can't, you, you just can't see that it's on there. It's invisible, um, but it, it just, you can you can feel it. I remember um, with the C7, Jennifer going, you know, when she wore a dress or she was wearing shorts, she could definitely tell the difference um, on how it was. It it didn't. Um, she could feel that there wasn't heat coming down on yeah. her legs, mm -hmm. you know. That they have for this, like I don't like doing windshield patterns. I like cutting them by hand, mm -hmm. just because I know they're gonna fit perfect. Cause I cut it, you know. So perfect. And then uh, that part right there, they cut it. They cut straight across. They don't even. They don't even tuck in there. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. I like the touch. Just a little bit better. This way first. You guys, there's a lot to this. Yeah. And that's how we protect the dash. So you saw how we protected the door. Mm -hmm. So that's what we used to protect the dash when we were turning it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, very cool. Let's see, we'll go around here and we'll take a look at this, guys. So you can see they've got this thing totally. They're tucking it in there. You got the keys for the next car, Aspa? Uh, I don't. No? Oh, it's the Mercedes. Mercedes? Yeah. You can see right there, they're getting it all tucked oh. up in there.
It's a satisfying part right here. Yeah, it's like you start to be able to see it, and it's not all foggy and yeah. yeah. Bubbly and all that. Yeah. And then guys, you can actually see here, I don't know if you can see right here, but hopefully my camera will pick it up, but there's a little 3M right there. And, and I think they're like in strategically in different places across the glass. So if you're getting this done, I mean, they, they'll they'll be able to get those, they'll be able to remove those, but but you're gonna, yeah, see there's another one right there. But this way you know that this is genuine 3M film. Uh, they've got they've got something that they use to be able to get that off. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Huh? Is, oh, is it rubbing alcohol? Okay. It looks to me like these corners are more flat on these than the C7. So it looks like that you're not guys are not having to fight it as hard yeah, the in C7 those corners. Had a little, little bit of a curve. Yeah. This one they kind of changed it up a little bit. That's cool. Well, it'll make it one of the few things that the C8 does a little bit easier. <laughs> I know working on this car, it's a uh, is it more complicated? It's, it's, it's more complicated, yeah, yeah. Huh? So what did it look like? Did it look like we were struggling or? No. <laughs> no. You guys made it look simple. This was our first C8. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> first day on the job. <laughs> yeah, so this is the first one they've ever done. So you can only imagine what it'll be like when they get to yours. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> Very cool. Yeah, now you can see inside again. Yeah. Yeah, look how clear that is, right? Yeah, that looks awesome. All right, guys. So I've talked to Ifty, and he, he came up with this really great idea on how to light this up right here. I don't know if you can see it, but it said you've got the Corvette emblem here, and it says Team Corvette right there. So what he's gonna do is he's gonna take a little bit of this of this tin of the uh, wrap and he's gonna put it down in there. Yep. So that is going to look awesome. So watch this, guys. Look at that, it's going in there. It's gotta go down a little bit farther if you. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Yep, and he's gonna tuck that down just a little bit more. Look at that pop. Isn't that awesome? Get the whole thing <laughs> yep, yeah, it's good. Yeah, that's perfect. All right. <laughs> Look at that, guys. All right, so this is just uh, 25% ceramic roll that we're putting on here. Uh, so, and right here, we're just gonna pull up your vehicle. So, you're the 23, 24? Uh, it's, that's 23. Okay, so 23. And then you go. Heavy. Grab that. Alright, and then it pulls up. See the front windows. Has the windshield, visor, back window. But uh, right now we're just going to cut the front two windows. So, select that. So guys, I'm not tinting my back window, either either window, the one right behind the driver or the outside one over the engine, because I want to be able to 
Uh, one, I have the wind restrictor in there and I want it to be able to be visible. And then the other part is I want everyone to be able to see all the work I did to my engine. But you can see right there, look how this thing works. It's pretty cool, huh? So you can see the, see it plotting it. And it just moves it back and forth and the blade just cuts it out. This has got to save you so much time, huh? Yeah, it actually does save a lot of time. Not only that, you know, you're not cutting on the cars and... So you know how these windows, when you open the door, it uh, had like a little pop to it? Right, the index, so yeah. You had to lock the door basically for it to be up. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, shit. It's like, it's like tricking the door. Oh my god. We're tricking the door out of, like, to make it think it's closed, you know? Pretty cool, huh? You're like, what the heck are you doing right now? <laughs> I know, right? I mean, what, are, what is that pad that you're using? Is it like one of those little... That's a scrubby pad. Oh, really? So I, I just use it to clean the... Clean the Gets glass. all the stuff off? Yeah, so you saw I bladed it first. Yeah. And then got all the glue residue off. I tell you, you know, I don't care how how well I clean my glass. Mm -hmm. I, I, there's always streaks. I, it drives me crazy. I, I, I try yeah. as hard as I possibly can. And What do you use? Um, you know, I'm either using, using Windex or I'm using like the spray that doesn't have the ammonia in it. Yeah. But I always manage to, like the side windows I'm okay with, but yeah. like the inside of the windshield, oh my God. Yeah. It's like, just, just shoot me. Cause it, it's a pain. Do you use Sprayway? Huh? Sprayway? Yeah. And, and you still get streaks? <laughs> yeah, maybe I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> I don't Wait, are know. Are you using a microfiber towel? Yeah. Wow. I don't know. You shouldn't yeah. get any streaks with that one. Yeah, that's the... That's what we use. Yeah, it's the white and blue can, right? The white and blue can. Yeah. 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 It's really good can. And like I said, I'm really good at being able to get the glass clean on the outside and yeah. and on, on the side windows. It's yeah. just the... <laughs> Just always seems like there's something I'll miss a little spot or something on the on the inside. Now I don't wash it four times either, but <laughs> that probably has something to do with it. <laughs> so that had a protective layer on it too. Yeah. I see. Okay. Uh, that exposed the uh, glue layer that is gonna attach itself to the window now. Okay. that look really really easy I would have crinkled it all up and there'd probably been a 400 bubbles in there by now I think you can get it down you're fast learner <laughs> I know my limitations <laughs> 
Well, you're getting free lessons right now. That's so. it. That's <laughs> right. So. Yeah, guys, you'll know how to exactly how to do it now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, all you gotta do is uh, slap it on there and squeeze you. I mean, That's right. <laughs> well, all you gotta do is you gotta have a roll of the really expensive, good, uh, oh, good, film. good stuff. Now, what is what is this one called? What, what this, is this? This is, in, this is the uh, ceramic. 25%. It's only ceramic 25 and yeah. this is a 3M product also, right? This is also right? 3M product, yeah. Okay. But we wanted to go with 25%, uh, yeah. so it only comes in ceramic. So, this is, but remember you got color stable last time, which is actually a line below the ceramic. So And, and it was great. And that one was really good, right? Yeah, so yeah it was is, really this good. This is going to be 10 times better than that. So, Very cool. Yeah. So, so yeah. does this one have the UV protectant yeah, in it too? Yeah, ninety-nine percent. Yep. Okay. And then, uh, as far as like the infrared is, so the main difference between the um, color stable and uh, and ceramic is the infrared rejection, right? So on the this go actually, I'll show you. The okay. Oh yeah, big time. All right, we're gonna follow him into the showroom here, guys. So, <clears throat> last time we did a color stable on your car, right? Right. So, this film actually we're not going to carry anymore. Oh. Because ceramic is going to replace this one. Ah. So, all right. the 20% is what we did on your C7. So, total heat rejection is only 51%. And then infrared rejection is 68%. Wow, and it right? did a great job. It did a great job, right? Yeah. So, the ceramic blocks 95%. Oh wow! Yeah. So see the infrared rejection right here. Yeah. Like this. This is the crystalline right here. So like infrared rejection, we did seventy percent on your windshield, ninety-seven percent infrared rejection, and that's the lightest shade. That's this one right here. Wow. So the darkest one here only blocks seventy-seven percent. So it goes off the quality of film. You know. Wow! Big time. Yeah. Big, big time. time. Wow. Mm -hmm. Well, there you guys go. Now you know what one to order. Okay. <laughs> Get the crystalline. That's it. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't know exactly what I was getting, guys. When I when I called uh, when I called Ifty, I just told him I had my car. He's like, "We will get you taken care of." So, um, but, I mean, look at that, guys. And I know that with the door open, it looks like, "Oh yeah, you can still see through it," but I, we can't close it right now. But it, it's one of those things that once it goes into that dark <laughs> into the the dark inside of the car, it really will appear appear even darker. Um, but like I said, it still has that nice, clear, there's no distortion. And, and that I've seen before in some of the other, other, uh, tints, you know, so the 3M stuff is just the way to go. So guys, I just walked outside. I wanted to show you that they do all kinds of cars here. They're getting ready to do, uh, some work on this BMW, this brand new Tesla right here. It's a Mazda, We've got a Honda, the Honda they just got done doing over there, as well as this Honda, and this Dodge. But what I want to show you the most here, guys, and this, oh, I think they're getting ready to do something on this Tundra, maybe, I'm not sure. But take a look at the Ifty's, his uh, Jeep. So this is for Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and he's trying to be able to do this and take a look at the look at this isn't this cool look at the wheels <laughs> i think it's pretty sharp i do it looks really neat this jeep's a couple years old now um and it's in great shape he's always doing something to it it's probably he doesn't have all the lights running on it right this minute but uh, uh <laughs> this thing does a lot look at the look at the antenna guys like that the bullet Pretty cool, huh? Um, anyway, I just wanted to show you this, guys. Make sure that, uh, let's see, maybe we can get that for our uh, for our cover. Uh, this is pretty cool, I like it. So, um, anyway, heading back inside and uh, we'll uh, see how the car's coming along. So the main thing that when you're blading windshields or windows, mm -hmm. you don't want to go over this black part right here because what that does is it, it dulls the blade and you can actually potentially scratch the window. 
아. 아우 이제 더 프레시 플레이 그러면요. 오케이. Guys, we're doing a lot of. I'm I'm filming a lot of everything he's doing. You probably won't see all of this. I'll edit a lot of it out because you're gonna sit here and watch while he's doing. It. You're gonna you're gonna bring your car. You're gonna drop it off with him. You're gonna come back and pick it up later on, yeah. and it's gonna be all nice and pretty. But I I just wanted to show you what's involved. So when they talk about pricing, you understand what's. What's involved in this? I know it just looks like oh, they just stuck some with some tint on, but it, there's a lot to it. You know, they and and that's one thing I do like about it. They do take their time with it and they do it right, and that's you know. Uh, yeah, and you know, protect the door panels, all that stuff. There's, yep. You know, stuff like this, people don't really see. Uh huh. Um, but yeah. It's the precautions yeah. that we take. You yeah. know, just because of the quality which I put out. Yep. Well, you got to have special permission from Mark to be able to come back here anyhow. So, <laughs> so you know. Actually, you know, the, the, then he has to get it signed off by. The <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Mark, we're throwing you under the bus over here on video. Yeah. I, I said that, you know, most people, they can't come back here. They got to have your permission to come back here to look at their stuff. So, yeah. 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 I just told him, I said, you know, most people, they're not. They're not gonna come back here and film their car being tinted, right? They're gonna they're gonna just drop it off with you guys and pick it up later in the afternoon, or you know, and you know that type of thing. And it's it's all done and done and over with. Twenty-five. Yeah. Yeah, I like the twenty-five. I really do. Yeah, it's a great, happy medium. Those of you guys, uh, the, you know, the younger generation, they can handle the darker windows. But uh, I'm really thinking that the twenty-five is a good, happy medium for us people that have got <laughs> their eyes are going bad. <laughs> they can still see out. <laughs> yeah, I just recently started carrying the twenty-five too. Because a lot of people were like, hey, is there anything between 20 and 35? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, this is a. Uh, yeah. The guys also, um, all we're talking about, they also do wrapping, they also do clear bras, they do a lot of different stuff here. Um, I mean, one of the main things that they do is, uh, is tinting. But they also do um, audio, um, you know, and they have, I have heard some of the awesome sound systems. Um, that Jeep that I showed you guys here a little bit ago, uh, if these yeah, Jeep, I, I, uh, that thing is like a concert hall inside of it. And, yeah. uh, you know, so, so um, they can definitely set you up with that too. It's, uh, they've got some really good stuff. They use top quality equipment. And um, so, so if you guys are looking for, uh, you know, uh, doing that then you can do that um, I don't know do you guys even have anything for the C8 is there a way of doing anything for that I know you did for the C7 yeah the C8 they uh, they don't have any like normally we use like the stealth box that uh, right. JL Audio makes yep but they haven't made one for the C8 yet okay they're still working on it because I mean, the mid-engine made it different, right? Boy, it sure did. Uh, There's like uh, no space. Yeah. There's no space at all. Yep. So, uh, I've seen a lot of custom yeah. sy systems that they put the subwoofer right there, but you lose a little bit of leg room. Yeah. And yep. um, I, honestly, if it's for me, this car's already kind of like a little tight for the leg room right there. Right? Oh, it is. So you don't yeah. want you don't want to take you don't want to take that away. Yeah. No, I agree. So, but once they come up with a good solution, we'll do, then, you, then you'll we use always, it. Yeah. We, we change the speakers and stuff. Though. Oh, you do? Yeah, yeah, okay. All right. Well, that's cool. Yeah. But yep. like adding a subwoofer, yeah. it's just like you yeah. can probably do like a center console box. 
Uh, but it has to be fully custom. Yeah. Oh yeah, it would totally have to be. Yeah, guys, I, I can tell you without a doubt though. I um, my my buddy John, uh, you've seen him on the channel many times. He's got the the uh, C7 that's got the American flags on the side of it and everything. The full uh, full wrap. Um, uh, Ifty and the guys here, they installed one of those JBL um, subwoofer boxes and an amp. And again, it is. It's crazy. I it is totally crazy on how that sounds, and um, it just. And if you're also guys, if you have CDs, uh, you guys still have access to those. Yeah. If the, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So those of you that have CDs, and I don't know if it works. And you want to retain will it. will, will they, they work, on the work on the CA too? Yeah, it'll work on okay. The CA. So. Yeah. So uh, it goes off the USB. So as long as you have the USB input, uh, it works. Oh, okay. All right. So it's a special. I know you guys are like going, oh, well, yeah, we can get a little CD player that plugs into our computer. They are not the same. Yeah. So the one that, the one, they look exactly the same, yeah, but, they but they're not. And, and these, uh, these auto feed, they're, you, you feed it in and you plug it into the USB port on your car and it now becomes, I think it acts like it's an iPad or an iPod, doesn't it? That's kind of how it works. And that... I'm pretty sure it's how it works. It shows up as a media device, and now you can play your CDs in your car. Um, and you know, I'm like, why would you do that? And and uh, John was like, well, when you're in an area where you have, which we go and we do runs a lot of times, um, there's like maybe a lot of trees in the area. You don't have satellite service, you don't have cell phone service, but you still want to listen to the music. And we've actually been in that spot a few different times, and uh, that's where he uses his CDs. So um, very inexpensive, but it works really good. And um, if you guys need need one of those, be sure and reach out to Ifty. They'll be able to help you. Okay. Um, I'm just trying to point out all the things that they have done for us in the past. You can check out the the subwoofer video that we did on John um, so you could you can check that out because it's on the channel so be sure and be sure and look at that if you're interested for the C7 they make a couple different options for the C7 also, so, C C7 yeah, there is, yeah yeah there's a few different boxes over on the side is, is, that, is that, that still a stealth box is that the stealth, stealth box okay um, they're both referred to as stealth boxes okay. they're made for the vehicle actually and even both boxes, you can't really tell they're there. No, no, you 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 really can't. Even the big one that Ifty's talking about that John ended up getting, um, it is a uh, it sits low enough, has a low enough profile that you can still put a wind restrictor in it, so yeah. it doesn't uh, it oh, doesn't yeah, block that. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah. yeah. he didn't want to give up on his wind restrictor. So yeah, yeah so that worked that worked good. So take a look at it, guys. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. You know that I hate to say it, Ifty, but the but the front window is a little hazy. <laughs> <laughs> Once it's done, I'm crystal clear. <laughs> no, I'm just messing with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, very cool. All right, look at this, guys. Man, see, I told you when you get the the dark background inside the car, it really makes that window look dark. Wow, that's awesome. Let's sneak over to the other side, we'll take a look. Wow. It's amazing what tint does. Yeah, it's been bad at the door. All right guys, we're back at Elite Audio and Tint. Uh, I took off and went and did some things while they had taken care of some other appointments and so the Corvette's back in the shop right now and what they're going to be doing next is they're going to be doing the outside protective windshield film on the outside of the glass so that way it will help keep from getting rock chips and all the peppering that happens to windshields over time so um, we're going to go ahead and um, uh, as soon as they get get done with the Tesla, which is almost done, then they will get started on this one. So, um, and then I'm gonna try to con him. Hopefully, we'll see if we can get him to do that. We'll see if we can con him into putting on the Corvette letter on the top of the of the uh, the windshield. So, all right, guys, I talked just talked to Ifty, and I've conned him into putting this on afterward. So, you can see there. 
Uh, this is going to go on the top of the windshield up there like my other car. And so they'll be, they'll be matching. Wow, so this stuff looks like it's, I mean, it looks like chrome. Yeah. 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 You gonna do it on the car? And the cost is yeah. probably like gold. <laughs> you better have a chrome tint on your windshield. That's right. You're reflecting it. It was like total cost for today, your left arm. That's right. That's right. And it'll only last for three weeks. <laughs> you call this the three week special? You got it? You want the whole protection? You have to give up a kidney. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, spray it first. Uh, my bottle's kind of empty, but. God's like, I just wiped it down. <laughs> <laughs> I know he's always wiping his car. <laughs> That's why I told him, I was like, just leave it today. I know, they, they warned me, guys. They said, don't worry about wiping it down. It's going to get wet again. I'm like, okay, well, I went out there and wiped it down. Now they're having fun doing this with yeah. me now. Yeah. <laughs> Seems like that's been happening a lot the last two days. That's uh, <laughs> All the I different know, you watched his car yesterday, yeah. and then it rained. And then it the rains. Morning. I know. <laughs> I know. I stayed out. I was. Uh, it was like eight thirty last night. Eight thirty, nine o'clock. I yeah. washed it in the driveway. It was like dark. Yeah. Right. Because I wanted to make sure that it was good for the film today. Yeah. Right. And then it rains on me, so I had to like clean it again before we got here. You know, it's like. And you can definitely tell, guys. You can definitely tell this is a lot thicker than the other stuff. Scott, you gotta check out the lights on that one over there. Oh, which one? Yeah, the oh, in the truck? Yeah. Yeah? Alright, right, let's take a look. Oh, let's take a look yeah. and see. What? Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Look at that. Oh, that looks right cool. Happy customer right there. Hello. Oh, look at that. I was trying to find a little brush to get the little. He hasn't done that side yet, but okay, that one looks awesome. Work in progress. Yeah, no, that's looking great. Thank you. Yeah. Look at that. That's pretty cool, huh, guys? Oh, not too bad for my first time doing this. <laughs> yeah, looks looks really good. I think I'll just take it home like this. <laughs> All these bubbles will oh, cure out. Okay? That's right. Just give that's it right. about. Give it a couple years. Yeah, this is right. <laughs> Okay. So there's a lot to this, that's for sure. Yeah. So <laughs> talented but this is one thing I just don't ever I have no need or want to do is oh, yeah. I just don't have the patience for it I don't either you know well, I, I, you know what this this is the end of my career so it's the last car I'm doing <laughs> <laughs> it was your first one earlier in the video <laughs> <laughs> first and last look at that in one video <laughs>
that it? Yeah, that and then this last sticker right here. Yeah. This will be the hardest part of the whole thing. Yep, the hardest part. You got money for this ticket? This is what this is what he does for pastime. That's right. That's right. When he's not chasing them, he's polishing them. <laughs> hey, you know what? They they can be car lovers too. That's right. Take a look at this, guys. Doesn't this look great? And the fact that this is totally protecting the windshield. I mean, I, I realize if I get a boulder going through it, it's not going to stop it, but... <laughs> <laughs> right. The man is bulletproof now. That's it. So I'm going to try to get the link from IFTI on uh, getting you the information about this, uh, this product because um, if you want to protect your windshield, you want to make sure that you use this and if you'll be able to get you set up with it. Um, it, uh, it, as you can tell, it's a very tedious job though, to be able to get, get this to, uh, to fit on there. You can saw how much work there was. So anyway, um, but here in just a second, I'm going to get Ifty to tell you about, um, what he's going to do. I told you we were holding it hostage to the very end, but for Corvette channel users, uh, subscribers, um, he's going to tell you what he can do for you. Okay. All right, guys, this is the moment you've been waiting for. Uh, first of all, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Um, everybody that mentions the Corvette channel is going to get about 5% off. Uh, you can get window tint, PPF, whatever you guys want to get. Um, let's get your guys' car in here. <music>